So guys, the running doctor here again, and you are welcome to my channel. I have another interesting running shoe for you today, and this time I have another brand from Nike, the Nike Windflow 9. The Windflow 9 gives you the support you need to match your speed. We added plenty of foam through the midsole, giving you extra pep to every step. Lace up, lock in, win your goals. That's how Nike described this shoe in their website. So how much of that promise in the statement above was delivered during the run test? That's why we are here and we are going to find out as the review continues. So I never wore any of the previous versions of the Windflow. Although I looked at the Windflow 7 that time, it interested me. I didn't get it. I bought the Pegasus. I saw the Windflow 8 also. It was interesting. But this time, I decided to try the Windflow 9. And I'm glad I did. I've put in quite some kilometers in these shoes. And I think it's time for me to share my thoughts with you guys. You know, that's what we do. Test out these shoes and help you to make better choices if you are running shoes. Of course, in my reviews, I always consider the looks, the quality, the performance, and the prices to get you the best shoes for the best prices. So let's dive right in. The underside has a gentle rocker geometry to aid transition from landing to toe up. Now, these shoes are a little on the heavy side of running shoes. Because for my size, US size 11 or EU 45, they weigh 309 grams. Anything above 300 grams in my usual size, US 11 or EU 45, I consider heavy for a running shoe. That is why I say these are slightly on the heavy side, coming in at 309 grams. The heel to toe drop with this is 10, and that's quite significant. But in these shoes, they work. I couldn't get the actual heel stack from the Nike website. But when I compare the feel and the height with others, I know that this should be in the range of the lower 30s at the heel, and maybe lower 20s also in the forefoot. I got these shoes for 302 Saudi real. That's approximately 80 US dollars. The usual price from the Nike website and from so many other affiliate sites are usually between 80 to 120 US dollars. Now, when you put these shoes on, what kind of ride does these shoes offer? These shoes offer you a well-cushioned, smooth, and responsive ride. You know, Nike used a full-length air column in the midsole, and the React foam on this is also soft and very responsive. You will feel the air column in these shoes. Take every step. The 10 millimeter drop somehow, you know, urges you to keep going. So the result is a nicely cushioned, smooth and responsive ride. The response from the midsole more than compensates for the weight of this shoe. For daily trainers, this is just more than adequate. At the end of all my runs in these shoes, my legs felt quite good. The protection I got from these shoes were just fantastic. These shoes don't need any breaking period at all. They are very comfortable. They are very responsive. Immediately you lace up the new shoe. The feel on the foot is very comfortable, rather cushy. The the air unit in the midsole is very well felt in every step. You really do feel like you are working on air. The arch support is one of the best I have gotten in any of my running shoes. This just gently cuffs upwards and cradles the underside of your planter arch, keeping your feet relaxed on all phases of running. The insole is removable, of course, I always say it when it's there. At various paces in these shoes, fast pace, slow pace, medium pace, these shoes felt great, both in comfort and response. The engineered mesh upper is nicely supportive. The toe box is not that wide, but but if you have regular feet like mine, you don't have a problem. But those who have wider feet, they are going to have a, a problem with this. And especially since their material is also not stretchy. Soft padding is also noted along the collar and the heel counter for more comfort around the ankle. The heel tab leans back, relieving pressure on the back of the ankle. The shoe fits true to size. I got my normal size in this and they fit perfect. The lacing system as well as the inner midfoot band ensures a perfect lockdown both at the midfoot and at the heel. I did not feel any slippage at all in this shoe. The tongue is free, but the lace passing through it helps to keep it in place. It is very soft and nicely cushioned and helps relieve pressure from the laces. The lace is not securely throughout the duration of the run. I didn't have to stop in the middle of my run to retie my laces. So stability is one place where I found this shoe lacking. There's no significant stability element to these shoes. The midsole is very soft and doughy, and so it is very easy for it to collapse medially. So if you overpronate, then you should actually look for something else. 
For those who have no stability issues on their feet, are likely to enjoy running in this shoe. Breathability. Unfortunately, these shoes are not the most breathable shoes. They do feel a little warm, especially on hot days. Durability and traction. The rubber outsole is similar to that of Pegasus. And they offered very nice traction on both weight and dry pavement. So I also expect the same level of durability to these shoes than these. Some people were complaining about the upper in some reviews that I saw. But these actually feel quite decent. And I've put in over 50 kilometers in this day. so I expect decent durability from these shoes also of course they do look great both with workout gear and casual they are comfortable enough for all day wear these will not be my choice gym shoes especially for activities that will require stability so in summary I like that these shoes are very well cushioned and comfortable I like that they have a great bounce to them that they look great and I love the price you know at $80 for these shoes that is an absolute bargain the only thing I can complain about these shoes is the breathability on warm days they may be uncomfortable for longer runs uh, but for shorter runs you are not likely to have any problems and on cold days of course they will now come in handy so i will recommend these shoes for all forms of training short runs medium runs tempo fast low i think these shoes are going to do great so guys that's it about the nike winflow 9 thank you for watching this video to the end again i urge you to please subscribe to the channel like the video it helps us out and encourages us to do more and until the next video is goodbye from me